Hello Facebook, YouTube, and hopefully soon um, an up and running podcast. I uh, just want to say hello to everyone out there tonight and send out a big thank you for all the support that poured in for um, my father, Bob Mason, who passed away uh, recently. Um, yesterday um, it meant a lot to our family and we were just uh, overjoyed got a lot of text and phone calls and um, it wasn't just Facebook it was it came from all around and uh, that just that meant the world to us and um, I just wanted to say thank you for that and I think I can speak for my family as well um, we appreciate that very much and there's never a good time for anything like this to happen but being so close to the holidays and whatnot yeah it's tough but one thing I know about my dad is he was a super strong man and um, he was suffering and it's a blessing to me that he is no longer suffering Although, you know, selfishly, we never want to lose our loved ones, whether it's our parents or anyone in our family or friends for that matter. But um, I did want to say thank you for that. And um, I wanted to say thank you to my brother from another mother and my homie Spencer um, for hooking me up with this mic another piece of the puzzle to get in this podcast going so that was cool um thank you very much i appreciate it that was awesome um love you man and the whole family and uh you guys are very special to me and your support has meant a ton um everyone's but uh i want to put a short video on here tonight and kind of go off pace of why I'm doing this whole uh, podcast thing. Um, I wanted to talk about family. I wanted to talk about um, grief and I wanted to talk about forgiveness and um, and I have a couple other things I want to throw out there at the end of this so but first off um family uh we're blessed if we have them um there's a lot of people in homes like my dad was in that unfortunately have to pass away all by themselves and you know usually from what i understand they always have a hospice in with them by their side which is um, which is a blessing and uh, those nurses and those workers in there that do that out of the kindness of their heart are saints and um, just to do that for those people and I was surprised when I heard the number of how many that actually have to go through that so um, Although I wasn't there, I mean, I was in the building, but I wasn't there right when my father passed, you know. He had someone in there with him at that moment, and that gives me comfort. And um, he, he passed at about 1 a.m. Um, I was able to, I stayed until about probably 8 in the morning, or maybe a little earlier, and gathered up some important things. I wanted to take home and then um, headed home and uh, proceeded to crash out for quite a few hours. I was overdue. Uh, I think the whole family was overdue for some rest. But um, having said all that, um, I love my dad. Um, I'll never forget a thing about him. And selfishly, of course, I didn't want him to pass away, but he did. And that's God's doings 
and he is in a better place now, pain-free, and um, he's home um, with the rest of our family um, that has left this this earth. So, therefore, I can find comfort, and we can find comfort in that. Uh, I wanted to talk about forgiveness as well. Um, all families have issues. All families have um, quarrels, and it's it's a part of life. No matter whether you have a family full of saints and great people that have never made bad decisions or you have a family that's just chaotic you know we all have issues that go on and I really started thinking about that this past week and um, just how important that is because we as you all know out there we only get one go around here while we're on earth and um Get, getting disappointed or being disappointed in someone in your family for whatever reasons it happens probably in in all families at one point or another but I think there's a time and place to let go of that and to come together and um, what I found out is some people aren't capable of that and you know that's sad because I think at the end of the day, um, we're all going to hit that point in our lives, you know, nothing, we're never promised another day, and each day we're here is a blessing, and um, I think that's something to really hold on to is that if you do have somebody in your family and there is something going on, I think uh, the best thing you can do is to forgive and and it doesn't mean that you forget it just means to forgive even if you have to do that for yourself to move on but um, harboring that is not healthy and I have, I've harbored those feelings before and I know they haven't gotten me anywhere and they take our focus off the important things in life, like what's right in front of us at that present time. And it goes back to that old saying of looking in the rear view and not looking at the big windshield of what's coming at you and, you know, what's in front of you so you don't miss it. Um, and having said that, I also think that you know, we need to be patient with each other in a situation like that and give each other um, the chance to explain ourselves in situations if this has ever occurred in anybody's family and and to come to an understanding. Even if we don't agree with each other, we can come to an understanding and we can still go on as being family. And, um, you know... I, I have things that I regret and um, you know I, uh, people may never understand I, I may never understand it fully but I know that um, you know I, I've been angered at people and harbored anger and then you know forgiven and um, it's a lot better to, for, to forgive, excuse me, than to, to harbor that anger. I think that um, in certain cases, it's a little different. We all know that. And, um, but if it's over something that can be talked about, maybe it's misconstrued. Maybe there's assumptions that were made. Um, I think it's very important to come together and have those conversations because like I said life is not promised um, each day is a gift and we are blessed to be here and we're never promised another day so having said that that's, that's all I have to say about that if that makes sense to anybody hang on to it 
And if not, then um, I hope it rings true to you at some point. And maybe you can mend a relationship that's needed mending. Um, the holidays are a tough time. They're a tough time for a lot of people. I've talked with a lot of people in the last week, and uh, I, I didn't realize even uh, some of the nurses and staff and just people out and about, friends that have called to check in, and um, you, you don't realize how hard a time this is this year to go through something whatever it may be small whether it's minute and small or it's um tragic and on a larger scale it's all hard and there's a lot of pressure and especially this year 2020 has been just a year that i can't compare to any other one it's it's been a year of um unknown ups and downs unsurety but there's been a lot of love there too and even with all the division and i don't want to use the word hate but i'm going to stick with division that's going on out there right now um i, I would i would challenge you and in some situations it's it's just not going to be able to happen um, not everybody is going to be able to set aside their differences. We all know that. But I would challenge you that have the ability to do that and have that ability to have that compassion in your heart to set those differences aside and maybe reach out to that one person that you lost contact with. Um, whether it was over some of the stresses of this year or the crazy election or just different views and um, I'm not saying everybody because it's you know that's in a perfect world yeah that'd be great but you know that's not how it works but if you have somebody important in your life that m maybe a wedge has come in between the two of you and you you have that going on. Um, my, my prayers and wishes for you are that you can get together and that you can, even if you can't, I don't want to say forgive, but even if you can't understand um, at that very moment, to try to come to some understanding at least and to have that forgiveness um, whether it's for you because you need it to move on or you want to forgive that person. Um, every situation is different. But um, after some of the stories I've heard this week and this experience, I just I, I think that's a, a very important thing. I'm going to work harder on it. And uh, I'm going to encourage people to work harder on it. And, um, I have... Like I said, I'm straying off the path of what I want to use this platform to do tonight. Just to, uh, I really wanted to reach out and say thank you to everybody um, who commented, called, um, came to the door with a card, or uh, just anything kind, just to show, hey, we're thinking of you. Because, you know, it's not just us going through this. It's not just the Mason family. It's it's tons and hundreds of thousands of families that are going through this. Um, whether it was a death or whether it's struggling or, you know, emotional uh, discourse in families right now because of everything that's going on. And, you know, I don't have the answer. Uh, I wish I did, and if I did, I'd, I'd be working on that day and night to try to fix it all, but we know that's not how life works. Um, but I would just urge you all to really uh, look into your hearts and um, really think about it if it's important, if you are holding a grudge towards somebody or you have anger in your heart towards somebody, family member, friend, whatever. 
Um, in some situations, it's not going to be resolved, and those separations happen for a reason, and a good reason, and they should probably stay that way. But if you're teetering, and you're wondering, and it was over something small or something petty, or over something forgivable, or you just don't understand, um, whether you reach out or that person reaches out, you know, try to come to an understanding, try to forgive, try to remember that, you know, the greatest, you know, faith, hope, and love, the greatest out of all of them is, is love. Um, that's what the good book says. And, um, I've witnessed some pretty amazing things in the last four days, three days, um, of God being present. And like I've said on these videos, you know, Jesus Christ is my savior and I go to God. And, but if you have a higher power and if you're, uh, if that's where you go and that makes you a better person, then so be it. You know, there's, there's many of us from many different places all over the world that have different views and have different ideals and that doesn't make us bad people it just makes us different so i'm gonna keep this one short uh i just want to wish everyone a merry christmas and uh happy holidays um a happy new year a safe new year um if there's anybody out there struggling like I keep saying on these videos, feel free to, you know, send me a direct message. Um, I am here and I will respond and it's going to be a little hectic for the next couple days and it has been for the last couple days, but um, we're going to heal from this and, you know, we're going to become a closer family because of it and we're going to honor my father. And um, we're going to push on because that's what we have to do in life. So um, I'm just kind of freestyling right now. So I usually I have notes written down and kind of an outline of what I'm going to say so I can keep everything on, on pace and um, not get distracted and go off course. But um before I start doing that, um, I think I'm going to cut out. I just wanted to uh, thank everybody that showed support and um, just really let you know that it meant a lot to our family. Um, we knew that we knew that it was coming, but it came very fast right there at, at the very end. And um, no matter how prepared you are. You're, uh, what I'm finding out is it, you go through phases and it's still so early. I'm going to have more to go through and I think the rest of my family as well. But you're never fully prepared for um, anything like this to happen, especially with one of your parents who is on the younger side. Um, and it's, uh, it's what they call the... I, I guess it's what they call the circle of life. We're blessed to be here and we can do the best we can while we're here. And for those of us out there that have made poor decisions or for those out there that have made, you know, bad decisions or things you regret, you know, work on them. Make your amendments. Do the best you can. And that's the best you can do. And you might not be able to win back every single person that maybe you hurt during times of your whatever, your crazy times or when you were making those decisions or if you had an effect on your family negatively or in any kind of way or friends or acquaintances or anybody. Um, but what I can say is that it's very easy to approach somebody and say I'm sorry and you know but don't do it unless you mean it um, 
You don't do it unless you're ready and you mean it. And um, there's nothing good about a um, an empty apology or an empty amendment when you're trying to make one to somebody. So, you know, don't rush it. Be ready. Take your time when you're ready to take that step. Take it. And that's all I got about that. Um, you know, this is something that I've said before um, in the process of getting this all up and going. And I just wanted to put one on here. It's, uh, yeah, I'm not my normal self right now. And probably pretty monotone and not as cheerful as usual. And that doesn't mean that, you know, um, it just means I got a lot going through my head. But having said that, you know, I know, I know I'm not the only one. Um, I know one thing for sure and two things for certain. There are other people out there that have it a um, hundred thousand times worse than I do. And, um, you know, so my heart goes out to all of them too as well. And, um, I will continue next week to post, um, some more links, um, some more information on, on helplines, um, Facilities you can get yourself into if you are struggling mentally or emotionally or with trauma, drugs, any kind of abuse, whatever. Um, I plan on, once I get the podcast up, I'll be able to have my monitor behind me and and just have those posts. Um, I have it all. I just don't have it all hooked up yet. And I don't really feel like doing it right now, to be honest with you. Uh, it's about the last thing I feel like doing, but I did want to get on here and reach out to all of you, as I've said for like the fifth time, and say thank you. And uh, it, it's it's worth it to me to say five times. It's worth it to me to say a hundred times. I, I don't think I could say it a hundred times and have everyone fully understand how much that means to you when you're, when you're struggling. Um, you know, for a while I was going to jump off Facebook and just get away from it. And then after this happened and I read every one of those comments and I haven't responded to every one of them. And I, I, I don't know if I will. Um, it's a lot of comments to respond to. And but don't think if I don't respond to a comment that I um, that I didn't uh, read it because I read every word of everyone and everyone touched my heart deeply and I'm very, very, very grateful for uh, each and every one of them. And the kind words were just, uh, they blew me away. And um, I had people call me on the phone that I didn't even know that got my number from somebody where my dad used to work and tell me stories about having a bad day and how my dad would walk, you know, through the building and they said that guy knew everyone's name. It didn't matter where they were. He knew everyone's name and he always had a smile on his face. And they said, you know, I had a couple people tell me, you know, he helped me better my job and he changed me, changed my life. And, you know, I, he didn't even know I was in a, a hole or a struggle. He just did it. And, um, you know, that's how I'm going to remember him. Uh, I'm going to remember him as a kind man who was a big man and big enough to look intimidating, but he had a heart that was super soft, super soft, and he couldn't hide that. Um, he couldn't hide it. He was... My nickname for him was Big Guy. He's the OG, the original Big Guy. Now I've passed that on to somebody else who, who is deserving of it, and he knows who he is. He's he's a staple in my life, and uh, thank God for him. And um, but um, you would look at my dad, and you would think 
that guy has probably never shed a tear in his life, but he couldn't watch a Hallmark movie without crying. And we made fun of him a lot for that because, you know, it, it could be an, I'm, I'm talking AARP commercial, and I'd look over and he'd have tears in his eyes. So, all in all, the guy was, he was a big guy, no doubt about it, but he was a big softy. And he was a great man, you know. Um, when I think about it, he was a, a great man who helped a lot of people. And without him, and of course my mother, um, and God, I, I wouldn't even be making this uh, video right now. I, I wouldn't even be alive. I wouldn't be here. So, you know, I'm, I'm forever grateful to my father for, yeah, he, I disappointed him in some of the decisions I made, no doubt, that's an understatement, but he always forgave me, and he always made sure to grab me aside and drive the lesson in, and I was stubborn. It had nothing to do with him not getting through to me. It's just I was stubborn. I was young. I was cocky. I was arrogant. And, um, you know, a lot of younger people are that way. And then once you grow up a little bit and you start thinking about the things that your mom and dad or grandma and grandpa said to you or older relatives. And, man, I hold on to all those old sayings that... Um, he would say, and I didn't understand them when I was a kid, and uh, I thought they were kind of goofy, and um, I thought, well, what the heck is he talking about, man? He sounds like a sounds like an old timer, you know. Uh, and I thought I was cool back then, and using all the hip words and all that. But all he was trying to do was teach me a lesson. Well, it's funny now because um, I find myself talking to people what you know all, all kinds of people but especially people that are struggling and if they're younger by golly those comments come right out of my mouth like I've been practicing saying them every day for the last 10 years and I might not have ever even said some of them in my life until that point or you know only said them once or twice, and they come out, and they hit the nail right on the head. I mean, they they didn't say those things for no reason. And uh, God, I'm thankful for that too. Um, the knowledge that was bestowed upon me, that it took me a couple dings on the head to finally for it to finally register, but better late than never. And... Uh, I always told him that, better late than never, and uh, he'd kind of give me a look like, yeah, you know, and I'd laugh, and, you know, he'd smile, but it was more like, yeah, you know, better late than never. I didn't tell that stuff to you for no reason, and um, as time goes on, I'm starting to realize not only what exactly they mean, but why he told me those things, and... I have my mother, um, praise God, who is just off of quarantine. She is healthy. And um, my mom's side of the family, they, they, they live long lives. And um, if my prayers are answered in this one, it's that um, she's going to be with me, bugging me for years to come. And, um, I probably deserve it all and I'll probably bug her back. So, you know, but we have a great relationship and, you know, my brother and my sister are just as appreciative. I know I can speak for both of them on all the people that reached out and, um, my cousin Steph I've got to mention you in this. I don't know if you'll watch this or not, but the talk we had this morning was was one of the most uplifting talks I've had in this last 10 days. And um, 
that meant the world to me. That uh, took a guy who was trying to wake up, having his two or three cups of coffee, to feeling like he could walk on top of the world after we had that talk. And that's the power of love. That's the power of family. And um, I just want to say thank you for that. So that's all I've got for tonight, everybody. Thank you so much for the support. Thank you so much for the kind words. Um, I'm going to get back on my grind on this next week. And uh, I've got some plans. Um, I've got a couple guests I want to have on. So that means I'm going to have to set up all this equipment. Um, any tech savvy people out there um, that are bored and feel like lending me a hand and that know about podcasting, if you want to reach out to me, um, I won't be mad at you because I could probably use a little bit of help. Um, I'm starting to understand it. Uh, I've been watching a lot of videos on it and how to's, what not to do's, this, that, whatever. But um, if any of you out there are doing it on a regular basis and you have the time, um, uh, if, if you wouldn't mind reaching out and maybe DMing me and uh, maybe we could set up a time where we could uh, Zoom or FaceTime and I, I have a list of questions that I've put together that um, I would rather talk to somebody that I know personally about that um, than to you know talk to somebody that I've never talked to before that I don't know and they probably have good intentions but how do you know so I know there's people around the Gall Lake area that are doing these podcasts successfully and I watch them all the time and um, and they're inspirational and um, one gentleman's name happens to be Hank and um, I watch his all the time and I'm always highly motivated by them, my pastor, um, all his services because of being quarantined, being sick whatnot I haven't made it to service in quite some time and um, you know there are reasons for that and it's just been busy but um, you know uh, e even with the knowledge you have you've been broadcasting and putting out um, your sermons and Wednesday night Bible studies to everybody. And um, so if you got any helpful hints, uh, I won't be mad at you if you uh, want to share those with me. I would be very grateful. I, I could never be mad at you anyway. You you're part of the reason I'm here too, uh, Pastor McNally. So um, with that, I say goodnight. I say happy holidays if I don't get back on here before Christmas. Um, happy Hanukkah. Happy everything. I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know all of them. I just say, you know, Merry Christmas and happy holidays. And I hope I'm PC enough with that to uh, let y'all know that I care about each and every one of you. And... Um, the older I get, um, I think the the older I get, the the more my heart wants to um, wants to help. That's for sure. It's telling me, you know. It's my brain is telling me, but my heart is definitely pushing me. I've got a strong push in the last handful of months to um, really take off and make something out of this. And that's where I'm asking any of you folks that are up to, uh, up to date on all the knowledge of podcasting and whatnot, I, if you would reach out to me that'd be great i'd like to share my idea um it might be a little unorthodox and different from what um 
you're doing, but I think it carries uh, a lot of weight um, to a crisis that's going on in our country right now. And my main goal isn't to have a trillion view viewers, excuse me, or, you know, be, um, be like, oh my God, Rob Mason's doing a podcast and it's taking off or whatever. I, I, I don't, I don't care if anyone even knows my name, as long as they can see my face and hear my message, that's all I'm trying to do. And, um, if I can do that, then, um, I know that I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. So, uh, I'm going to get off here. I feel like I've just hit the Rambo point now. Uh, no outline, uh, freestyling and lots on my mind and a little tired to be honest, but Guys, I love you. The support was amazing. Um, thank you, everybody, for everything. Um, just goes to show how in in times of tribulation, uh, people pull together. And even during these hard times and divided times, um, I had people, you know, comment. And then other people comment that I had seen quarreling over stuff on Facebook, like everybody has been, and it made me smile. It, not that my father had to pass for that to happen, but it made me think, you know, at the end of the day, um, we're all just, we're all just trying to do our best, and, um, you know, we're lucky to be here. So, thanks for listening, everybody. I appreciate it. I hope you guys all have a good night. Um, good rest of the week we got christmas coming up christmas eve um be with your families um celebrate you know love on each other you know i know it's been hard financially for a lot of people but you know even even so you can still give your kid uh, a great christmas uh, one thing I've learned that tangibles and gifts aren't everything, but love is, love trumps it all. So, um, just want to say thank you to everybody. I really mean that. And um, it makes me want to shed a tear right now, and I'm not going to do that. I'm going to click off before that happens. But uh, the support was just, blew me away. And, um, for that, I love all of you guys, and um, I wish you all a happy holiday and a Merry Christmas and a good night. I've only said that about eight times now, so I am going to hit the off button. But thank you so much from the bottom of my heart and from the bottom of my family's heart. Um, you know, I never thought staring at a phone, reading messages could bring so much joy into your life and uh we live in a different crazy world today that's for sure i'd always rather get together with i'm, I'm an interpersonal kind of guy I, i'd rather get together with you and i know we have covid so we can't but i'd rather see you face to face i'm not a texter everything gets misconstrued at one point or another um it's gonna get misconstrued or taken out of context so I like to see people face to face and I know we have to do it zoom um, or if we're safe you know we can do it social distanced and um, so um, you guys have a great night and thanks for listening and being supportive and I just I love and appreciate you all and have a wonderful night.